How's it going everybody? It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon. It was a horrendous week of weather. Lots and lots of rain. I would say probably between 8 to 10 inches overall throughout the week. Um, just ridiculous amounts. But luckily the weekend is really nice and I got some cards in so I wanted to shoot a video and shooting it outdoors and I'm taking a chance because it is um, reservist weekend out on the Air Force Base so the planes this morning were going absolutely insane but right now it seems to be really quiet so I'm guessing about halfway through this video I'm just gonna get bombarded because that's just how that usually works but uh, before that happens I'm gonna show off some stuff um, one thing got this in today actually got majority of this came in today um, one of my favorite comedians, uh, he had a Netflix comedy special a few months back, and it was really freaking good, hilarious, and um, I went ahead and bought the CD because he was offering them on his website, and I can, I can hear planes right now, um, he offered them on his website uh, signed, so I bought a signed copy of mostly stories from Tom Segura. Super, super funny guy. Him and his wife have a podcast called Your Mom's House, and uh, I really enjoy it. It's really, really my type of humor. So, uh, got that signed copy of the comedy special, and there are two bonus tracks on here that were not on the uh, Netflix special. So, I'm looking forward to hearing those. So, yeah, got that in today. Um, this came as well. I got this really cheap off of eBay. I want to say it was it was under five bucks shipped, I think. But it's from the 2015 National, and it's one of the uh, corporate sponsor uh, placards. But it has the uh, Clay Matthews uh, card embedded into it. And uh, yeah, Panini. They can suck a big fat one, but. I thought this was really cool to have since I was at the 2015 National, so went ahead and grabbed it. Really dig it. Just a little oddball item. Um, what am I going to show next? I'll go ahead and show the clay since there's only two. Only two cards. Um, I picked this up for the rainbow. These things just do not come up very often. I think I only need the... Uh, the clouds diffractor out of 25 I think that's the last one of these I need but I picked up the gold um, non-auto uh, from high-tech number 47 out of 50 um, yeah once I pick up the uh, the clouds out of 25 I will have the full rainbow except for all the different patterns on the base card I'm not going to go for all those because I don't even know how many there are, but there's a lot. But once I get the one out of 25, I'll show off another completed rainbow. And speaking of rainbows, this one puts me one step closer, and it is a massive card. Um, this, I came across this uh, one night because somebody posted in the Mail Day Madness group. They posted a message said, hey, who is the Clay Matthews collector in here? He didn't know me by name, but he knew there was somebody that posted Clay Matthews stuff all the time, and it was me. Well, he's uh, one of the big breakers, and he pulled this for one of his people, and he figured that the guy would want to move it, so he got me in touch with him, and I was able to work out a deal for this card. This is a big one for my rainbow, uh, for my attempt at the master set from 2016 Select. Um, I really hope this is going to show up in this light. I don't know how glary it is because all I see on my side of the phone is glare. But uh, from 2016 Select, this is the field level, which is the hardest uh, um, veteran um, level. But yeah, the field level, black prism, one of one of Clay Matthews. This card... I'm guessing it's not 
giving it any justice on this video in person. This card is ridiculous. The old X Fractor uh, pattern on it. And there is the one of one. And I don't know about you guys, but this is my favorite one of one. You've got the one that's just the regular block slash one one. And then you've got the one where it's scripted out one of one. And I don't like, I don't particularly care for those ones. It's this one that I really like, the italicized uh, printing him there. So I know, weird little thing. But that's one detail I really like. But this card is so nice. And I'm down to only needing the tricolor non-numbered card of this level. And the bronze uh, prism like this. It's numbered out of 49. So I picked those two up and I have a one of, uh, one of the rainbows is complete. Which would be huge. And I'm the black the black die cut away from having the rainbow of uh, uh, the die cuts so hopefully I can find that pop up someday so those are my only clays um, up next this card so damn nice I'm so damn happy to have it for my set 2013 tier 1 autographs we've got the big hurt Frank Thomas and that signature is absolutely perfect no streaks nothing that is a needle in a haystack for Frank Thomas um, I've seen three other copies of this card and almost every one and all three of those have a streak on this big line across and this one is perfection so I paid a little strong on this one I think the last one sold on auction for like 46 and some change and I ended up paying $65 for this one. Um, so, did I overpay? Maybe, but whatever. I really like this one, and I wasn't going to take a chance of not winning it, because the, the cards for the set just never come up for sale. It's ridiculous. But this puts me at number 16 of the 24, so I'm officially two-thirds of the way through the set. So, pretty pumped about that, and... Frank Thomas was one of the guys when I was growing up and collecting. Um, and Frank Thomas, I mean, it's... If you go back and look at his numbers, it's truly staggering how good this guy was. And in my opinion, I think in my generation, we've been lucky enough to see two and possibly three of the greatest right-handed hitters of all time with Frank Thomas, Mikel Cabrera, and if he keeps it up, Mike Trout. They're the three best right-handed batters I've ever seen. And um, I hope it continues for Trout because he can go down as one of the best players ever, period. Um, but really happy to get Frank Thomas for the set. I do need to get Miguel Cabrera, though. But he's one of the eight I have left that I need. So, it's really neat, this set with the Hall of Famers and a lot of guys that I watched uh, growing up. So, there is that. And I am down to one card. And this has been several years in the making. At least two. It's been over two years um, that I've been nagging different people about it. I would say nagging, but I've been bugging them about picking up an autograph of this guy and I wanted to be super picky because I only want to do it one time I just want to buy one card of this guy and that's it so I've been super hesitant to pull the trigger on a card and this one popped up and I've been trying to get it for several months and the guy just wouldn't deal on price and it was expensive and I'm sure I paid too much but I I wanted it. And there were several other ones I was considering buying. But when it came down to it, this is the one I really wanted. And I love it. And I, now that I've got it in hand, I, I believe I made the right choice. And it was stressful because it was marked. I, I get all my notifications on my phone. Um, 
from the postal service and it was marked out for delivery and my mailman showed up at the house i knew i had to sign for this one and he stopped at my mailbox i saw him put some packages in there and then he drove off i'm like huh i guess he didn't make me sign for it so i walked out to the mailbox opened it up i had three packages in there none of them were this card and i was like you've got to be shitting me so i chased him down the road and uh, caught up with him and usually i have a different mail carrier on saturdays i have uh, a guy named tony monday through friday and he's awesome love tony and uh that the other guy he must have been on vacation or something because tony filled in for him today so i caught up to tony and said hey uh he goes did i make a mistake i said well i said i should have another package i said it was marked out for delivery and i know i have to sign for it and he and he look through what he had there in his mail truck and it is so piled with stuff and he goes i'm pretty sure i don't have it he goes um he goes are you gonna be around around noon i said yeah i said i'll be home and he goes well he goes when i'm done with my route i come uh i come back by here around noon so he said if i come across it i'll uh stop by and drop it off i said sounds good and i'd say about 20 25 minutes later i see his vehicle coming back down the road and uh, i meet him in the driveway and he goes it was gonna bug me all day long if i didn't find that package he goes so i stopped and searched and he goes i found it underneath a box so all's well, all's well that ends well i got my card i signed for it and i got inside and i always record opening the big packages just in case um i get ripped off luckily that hasn't happened yet but uh, this card is ridiculous. I love it so much. But um, I have one card of this guy. It's just not autographed. It was sent to me by a fellow tuber, Tyson Magdorn. He sent this to me in a Just Because package. Um, yeah, 2011 12SP game used hockey. Yeah, I said hockey. Um, but he sent this to me. And authentic fabrics of Alexander Ovechkin, number 92 out of 100. And uh, Ovi is my favorite hockey player. I just love the guy. And it all stemmed from, I saw one of those like E60 reports on him several years ago. They followed him around for a day. And the guy, is he was a freaking maniac. It, he was nuts. And I just really liked that about him that he was a crazy person and obviously he's one of the most talented uh, goal scorers in hockey history and he just hasn't had the the luck in the playoffs and hopefully that changes and they're able to come back and beat Pittsburgh this weekend but I don't know Pittsburgh's so freaking good but uh, anyway I'll get back to showing off the card God, this card's just so freaking sweet. 2013-14 uh, Panini Contenders. This is the Rookie Ticket Recall. On card autograph, gold version. This the logo up here is in gold hollow foil. Numbered one out of five. The signature is perfectly bold on there. What's so cool about this product is they took photos of. Um, different guys from their rookie years and put them on um, a contenders rookie ticket design that uh, it did not exist whenever they were rookies. Um, Sidney Crosby's in this set. I want to say Eric Lindros, John Tavares, a few other people. I mean, it's big name guys in hockey and uh, they're really insanely difficult cards to find. They don't come up for sale very often. But this is my favorite Washington Capitals jersey. I love the way this looks. And with the team colors on the card, the logo. I don't know how well this is showing up in, on camera here. But the look on his face, it's super intense. I just think this is a gorgeous freaking card. And uh, one thing I didn't know about it, and I can't really show off because I'm leaving it in the magnetic because I'm not taking it out because I don't want to touch it. But um, the whole card is matte finish which I'm a big big fan of and that's why the autographs look so nice on them but 
ha- the feel of them, that matte finish feel and look is just stunning with this piece. Um, so yeah, I've got an Alexander Ovechkin autograph. I no longer have to make that search every day. I, I search Ovechkin autograph and Ovechkin auto multiple times every single day trying to find something. And this is the card that I always wanted. And the seller finally dropped the price down to a, what I want, what I was willing to pay. It was still too much, but it's an absolutely stunning card. And for me, when it comes to PC, there is a thing. I mean, overpaying is whatever you want to call it, but when it's a one-time purchase. I was fine ponying up the money to get what I wanted. So that is my video and way shorter than I figured it would be. I figured I would ramble on for 30, 40 minutes, but we're still under 20 and I won't subject you to any more of it. Um, hope everybody's doing well. I've only, I have one more card coming in and it was just one I bought last night. It is four years in the making. I've been searching for one of these cards for four years. It was from a 2013 product, and one finally popped last night, and I jumped on it. So when that comes in, I'll probably just post it in the Facebook groups. I won't make a video for one card because it's not that huge. It's just huge to me. Um, so anyway, I hope everybody has a great weekend. I'm a couple weeks out from uh, trade weekend down at Ryan's, so I hope to see a bunch of you down there. It's going to be a really good time. Um, going to head down there with John, provided he isn't traveling uh, around to his brother's basketball tournaments. I don't know if he officially knows if he can go or not, um, but I look forward to seeing everybody. It's been since November, I believe, since I've gotten to hang out at the shop. So looking forward to getting down there. And We're just a few months away from Nationals, and I know I'm going to see a bunch of you there too. So. That is going to be a great, great time. Anyway, made it through a video. No planes, just birds and sunlight. So, anyway, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.